The Federated States of Micronesia consists of four tropical island groups in the western Pacific Ocean. The high islands of Yap, Chuuk, Pompeii, and Kosrai, and the numerous low-lying atolls between stretch across more than 1,200 miles of sea. My name is Clay Trauernicht. I finished my master's degree last year at the Botany Department at the University of Hawaii. I just spent seven months living on Pompeii in the Federated States of Micronesia. I was collecting plants for the New York Botanical Garden and working with the Nature Conservancy on invasive species management. Lived with a family, drank lots of sakao, and got to learn a lot about the problems that they're facing on some of the islands of Micronesia. Today I'm going to try to present to you the situation that's happening on Pompeii with cultural changes involving the use of Sakao, known as Kava, on other Pacific Islands, and how that's affecting forest management and forest conservation. The island of Pompeii is just 334 square kilometers. The mountainous interior is one of the wettest places on Earth and contains the world's lowest cloud forest at just 2,600 feet elevation. There are very few natural beaches on Pompeii. Instead, the island is almost completely surrounded by some of the most extensive mangrove forests in the Pacific. One to three miles beyond the mangroves lies the barrier reef, which forms a lagoon that encircles the island. Pompeii is incredibly fascinating because there exists an explicit connection between people and plant resources. It is also interesting because although we can see island cultures undergoing rapid change, many of the older traditions are still strong. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> 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 Over centuries, Pompeians have developed a complex agroforestry system that is the mainstay of their culture. Agroforests, known locally as nansap, are farms that mimic the forest using multiple layers of cultivated plants. Nearly all the lowland areas on Pompeii have been converted to Nansap, which envelops villages in lush vegetation.
Ada lagi sebuah lakar lalu Okey Tayu meh. Ku. Ku. Tirpu. Tirpu. The canopy in Nansap typically consists of large breadfruit trees and coconut palms. Below, ground crops such as taro and yams are planted among smaller trees like bananas and betel nut palms. In doing this, Pompeian farmers utilize the same ecological processes that keep natural forests healthy. Nansap can be productive for decades. The importance of Nansap has diminished in recent decades. With the change to a cash economy, people rely less on local farming to feed their families. In addition, imported foods like rice and canned meat are replacing traditional staples such as breadfruit and yams in the diets of many Pompeians. The most culturally important plant cultivated in Nansap is Piper methysticum, known on Pompeii as Sakao and on other Pacific islands as Kava. The mildly narcotic beverage made from the roots of Sakao is an important part of traditional ceremonies and feasts. Since the 1980s, however, the recreational use of Sakao on Pompeii has risen dramatically. In 1996 alone, local Sakao growers and businesses earned at least $3 million producing over 1 million pounds of Sakao. The majority of this is consumed locally. As such, Sakao has become the most economically important cash crop on Pompeii. Although farmers have benefited economically from the change in cultural practices, it has placed enormous pressure on Pompeii's unique forests. For centuries, the upland forests of Pompeii remained relatively undisturbed. The tropical rainforests on the mountain slopes are a mix of large broadleaf trees, tree ferns, and several species of palms and pandanus. Ridge tops are covered by elfin cloud forest, with trees rarely growing higher than 15 to 20 feet. These forests provide habitat for many endemic plants and animals found only on Pompeii. Over 50 species of plants, 13 species of birds, 28 species of tree snails, and one species of flying fox are found nowhere else in the world.
1975, the upland forests of Pompeii covered 42% of the island. At present, the percentage of forested land has been reduced to about 12%. The primary culprit for this sudden wave of deforestation is Sakao. The shift to farming Sakao in the mountains has been driven by several factors. First, growth of recreational Sakao drinking in the 1980s greatly increased harvest pressure on lowland crops. Second, crop theft became a serious problem as the high demand for Sakao provided easy money. Third, and perhaps most critical, was that the development of this new cash market coincided with severe droughts in the early 80s and mid 90s brought about by El Nino. While crops dried out in the lowlands, farmers realized they could take advantage of the rich soils and higher rainfall in the mountain forests. Mountain crops are also less accessible and therefore less prone to theft. Sakao plantations in the uplands differ greatly from Sakao farming in the lowlands. Whereas Sakao is farmed among a variety of tree crops like breadfruit and bananas in Nansap, mountain Sakao plantations are planted in full sunlight in order to maximize growth. The problem for forest conservation is that when a mountain plantation is established, forest canopy trees are either cut down or killed by girdling. Also, whereas non-sap remains productive almost indefinitely, soil nutrients in mountain sakao plantations are quickly depleted. This forces farmers to abandon older plantations and clear more forested areas for continued production. The impacts of forest clearing are varied and widespread. The most obvious effect is that critical habitat for native plant and animal species has been reduced and highly fragmented. There are also a number of indirect effects of deforestation. Replacing deep-rooted forest trees with plantations of shallow-rooted sakao makes mountain slopes much more prone to erosion and landslides. Increased sediment runoff can fill streams and smother reefs. Increased risk of landslides, it threatens the farms and villages in the lowlands. Although Sakao plantations are actively weeded, the open habitat of abandoned plantations also provides the ideal conditions for the establishment of weedy, invasive plants. Many native forest species are unable to compete with more aggressive exotic hey! plants. Thus, even after plantations become abandoned, native forests may not be able to regenerate. The Nature Conservancy and the Conservation Society of Pompeii, or CSP, have been actively working with local farmers on a Grow Low campaign. The campaign promotes Sakao farming in the lowlands and raises awareness of forest conservation through public outreach and education. In addition, CSP and the Pompeii government's forestry division have been regularly monitoring forest change. The results of the 2005 survey indicated that forest conversion has slowed dramatically, with very few new Sakao plantations being established. These surveys also indicate that there are many areas of abandoned Sakao plantations. However, it is still unclear if native forest plants are capable of colonizing in old plantations. The conservation of Pompeii's existing upland forests, the eradication of aggressive alien species, and the restoration of degraded lands is an enormous task. Fortunately, the Conservation Society of Pompeii, along with other groups, has been and continues to be incredibly proactive in protecting Pompeii's natural resources. Sakao so on Pompeii is playing two very different roles right now. Um, 
from the one sense, we can look at it as being responsible for the literal deforestation of an island, the clearing nearly all the forests, dropping from 42% cover of the island to 12%. But on the other hand, it provides, a, on a daily basis, literally, um, a very intimate connection between Pompeians and their land. They take lots of pride in the way that they farm, the way that they manage their, their non-sap. And um, it still has a potential to, to remind Pompeians of, of what's important, what the resources that they value, and making this connection between um, the importance of forest conservation and preserving their culture, which is centered around non-sap. And, Somehow we've got to be able to balance the relationship between Sakao as a cash crop and Sakao as this unbelievably important traditional crop, uh, sacred plant in the lives of, of all Pompeians.